Hello and welcome back to Kevin Can't Play Today, the game show where everybody always loses. I'm your host, Kevin. Hey, welcome back, guys. Uh, sorry it's been a little while since I've been uh, at this. <coughs> Between having to uh, struggle and get a new car and get it running <laughs> and working, and then this week uh, with road construction right outside my room where I record things, being super loud, um, it's, it's a little late, but, uh, yeah, my schedule is back officially, finally, to normal, uh, I shouldn't have to be covering any more shifts, uh, like I did last week, <laughs> ended up having to do again last week, um, yeah, uh, so that's that, um, so yeah, hopefully we'll be getting things on track, be less road construction, I can actually film on Mondays again, and, uh, yeah, I uh, also got a new series in the works that I'm really excited about, really looking forward to, and can't wait to take you guys on that journey with me, and, uh, yeah, we'll have a lot of fun with that, that should be more like my Subnautica, uh, series, uh, so actually, you know, kind of scripted, and, um, like, story, you know, so in character and everything, so that'll be fun. Uh, I can't wait to get that started. Um, so we'll be getting that started pretty soon. I gotta finish a little bit of scripting um, and do some camera work and some other stuff with that. Uh, so hopefully in the next couple of weeks I'll have that going. And uh, yeah, that'll be awesome. Um, something I'm really looking forward to. And I hope you will enjoy it too. Um, I'm also going to be trying to start streaming more, um, so be looking out on Wednesdays for that. If I've got time for streams, that's the day it'll probably be on, but I might do random streams here and there anyway, just for fun. Um, so yeah, just keep an eye out for those. Um, unfortunately, YouTube has apparently decided that because we put aliens and UFOs in the taglines of too many videos, we're a conspiracy theory channel. Um, so, yeah, I've been throttled quite a bit, so it is very important if you like my content and you want to see more of it, uh, please hit that notification bell and, uh, subscribe, um, otherwise you will probably not see my content because they are not sharing it with anybody. Um, and if you think you've got a friend that might like it, uh, yeah, go ahead and hit them up, send one over and see if they like it. Um, word of mouth and streams are pretty much going to be the only way to grow this channel for right now. Um, until YouTube bothers to even respond to my email that says that I'm just a gaming channel and I'm not a conspiracy theory channel. <laughs> so, um, but for right now I am borderline content and, uh, I'm not getting shared around much. Um... Speaking of not being borderline content anymore, hopefully we'll be finishing up this series pretty quick. Um, at least the uh, uh, regular XCOM version of it, uh, part of it. And then we'll be taking a break and before we get to XCOM 2, which should be a lot more exciting for you guys as it's a newer game with uh, um, some different options and different missions and stuff. So, um, And just a different way of doing things. So I hope you'll enjoy that when we get to it, but that'll be a while. I think I might take a break from XCOM for a while, let the algorithm algorithm me out of borderline content mode, and um, we'll, we'll go from there. So anyway, without much further ado, let's get back into the game. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't really have much time between the last mission and this one to do much of anything. So, oh crap, let me get rid of this stuff before I forget. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo, because I was about to forget. Um, so yeah, we didn't have much time between missions, so we've got a UFO landed. So we're going to have to go take care of that issue. Contact uh, thankfully it's not too big of an issue, it's just a, just a scout. But we all know those can still be very dangerous. 
Uh, congratulations again to Kevin over here who just got his promotion, so now we have a full lineup of colonels again. And uh, yeah, let's let's do this thing. Let's kick the tires and light the fires. We have visual on the mission. It's pretty much right in our backyard. Was that uh, maybe Indiana? Get ready to deploy. Our AO is within the continental United States. Reports indicate the UFO is set down in a sparsely populated area. We need to stay sharp and eliminate the invaders. Alright, let's do this. Copy that. This was a landing, not a crash. So expect heavy resistance. That means we gotta find the thing. I think it. I think that looks like a UFO there. So we'll go for there. Ah, not a lot of good cover in between. Just do the best we can. Should be fine for now, just posting up. Get the guys spread out a little bit. Nope. UFO is in sight. Again, no really good cover. Once again, I love this mouse. I know I've said it a bunch of times, but these red dragon mice are really nice. Especially for uh, games like this, that a lot of it's dependent on the on the numbers. It makes it really nice to be able to just do all the actions without having to write on the mouse. I don't think we are either. So I think Tato, you can stay put for right now. Ugh, that's a ways. 
right now. We'll just wait a second. Run him up when he's up when we got more people covering him. Mutons. With a berserker. Get him, Kev. Here we go. Ah, just barely missed. Mm, not a very good shot. So we'll just hit you with some psionics. Oh, weak. Mm, you ain't got a shot. Philly cheesesteak. Get over there. I mean, you ain't got a shot either. Come on now. <laughs> More mutons. Great. Nice shot, Kev. Not a problem anymore. Looks like Rigo got a good hit in too. Oof, that's gonna hurt. I need to get some support up all over there. Nice shot, Tato. Yeah, get close. What? Didn't take that. Ah, well. Alright, well. Can't get to any good cover, so. Let's move up over here. Post up. Get him, Rigo. Nice. You're clear.
Nice job, Kev. and get back out there. Oh, more mutons. Yay. Let's see what Mind Frail do. Yep. We'll get with that. I think I want to waste that shot. Nice shot. Maybe we will go back over here. What? That's not where I wanted to go. Fine. Give him Philly. Nah, he's shooting. Nice shot, Tato. Another one. Ah, missed. Ah, missed the target. They're starting to lose ground.
Dang it. <laughs> Ready to rock. Why waste ammo? Pretty sure there's another berserker in there. Oof. Better run. Oh, and there's a floater over there. Yay! Be a nice surprise for him. They're repositioning on us. Really? Chadley run. Not far enough, really. But. It'll get him close. That's gonna be a good shot. Nicely done. I'm about to start keeping score. Let's see if this will get us a shot. Yep, nice. And a flanking shot. Good shot, Philly. Not quite a kill, but we'll take it. They're backing up. Advance. Oops, wrong one. Wrong button. Get Philly some high ground here. Get Kevin back up with everybody. Excuse me. I'm 
Oh, that guy ran clear plumb way. Oh, he got a shot. There we go. Gotcha. Tato, you be creepy, yo. <laughs> Take a turn, reload, reset. Then we'll head in. Good to go. Reloaded. All right, we should be good to go. Just in case someone comes knocking. Getting there. We go for breach here in a second. Alright, fire teams are set up, door is stacked.
power source. Nice. Got another one. Let's try not to blow these up. We need those. Where's the computers we need? I can't remember. I think it might be computers. Oh well, we got a whole bunch of them too intact currently. Since this was a landing, as long as we don't shoot them. Last bastards at. Go on. Oh, there's something. That feller's toast. Fire. <laughs> See if I can pull this off. Uh, we'll try it. Ah, <laughs> that would have been funny though. Game Nigel. Ah. Adjusting aim. Really? No way that just happened. No. Now it shows me I got a shot. Nice shot, Philly. That was a good one. I'll get some good loot. I think we got everything intact too, which means we got a lot of good loot. I just hope the engineering crew nice. Live up to the standards set by our troops. Got After some good side like promotions. See, uh, teleconnect fields. Uh, it's 40 defense while in the field. Uh, both out. Ooh, hoo, 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 mind control. If successful, grants control of the target for three turns. Ah, robots are immune, but yes, please. Confirm. Alright, and we'll give you... Uh, give you inspiration. Guys close by, you can give a uh, plus 30 will bonus for two turns. Sounds like something Chadley would do. <laughs> I 
like a you know Chadley thing. So yeah, let's uh, let's go check something out. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Four UFO flight computers and two UFO power sources. There's a couple things I want to check. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're Let's always see. glad to have more help down here. That was the foundry, I think. Oh no, we do have everything done there. Alright. Well, what we can do with all those computers and such, build us a couple firestorms. Do we have a room? Check our hangar space real quick. Yeah, we'll have room for another one in there. Yeah, we'll build two of those. There we go. And now we're out of flight computers again. <laughs> Let's go sell some stuff off here real quick. Uh, get rid of some of these bodies. Taking up space. Uh, ton of power sources. Uh, yeah, we, yeah, we'll hang on to it. Alright, the thing I really want to check is let's... Clear that the alien device will not respond to attempts at physical interaction. However... If we can find a soldier with strong enough psionic abilities, we may be able to activate it. I've got to fully my Oh, I think I need... Certain... Armor. I think I need a Psy armor. Because I don't think we have one of those. Alright. We might need a mind shield. Pick one up anyway. All right, let's give that to Tato. Give him some armor. This suit could be the most dangerous thing we've ever developed. We've done it. <laughs> Can't even remember what it does. Dr. Bowen is confident that this soldier has the power to interact with the alien device. Okay. I started immediately. Nice. Plus 30 to Will. Plus six health bonus though compared to plus ten of Titan armor. But we can use the device. Let's do that. This is it. Once our volunteer enters the chamber, there is no turning back. This is what we have been working towards this whole time. We likely will not be able to make any developments beyond this point. Uh, I think we got everything developed though. So, uh, yeah, let's ri light this trash fire. Um, all forward progress, blah, 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 blah. Uh, oh, oh, I think we go straight into the last mission here. Um, you know what, well, let's, let's save real quick. See what happens. Can always uh, come back to it later then. All right, let's 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 try it. Let's do it. Of our major victories, we have encountered incrementally more powerful aliens. After the first alien craft was shot down, they began a campaign of terror. The alien forces were led by a sectoid commander, a powerful psionic creature. Upon capturing the hyperwave beacon, we detected a cloaked ship carrying a being of incredible psionic power. Having captured the device it sacrificed itself to protect, 
An immense alien ship has now appeared within our atmosphere. We can only assume that a being of even greater psionic power is on board this vessel. Good luck, Tato. We have already pushed human evolution so far, and I fear where the next step will take us. But our enemy leaves us with no other choice. A new type of weapon is required. Nice. Alright, that's the thing. Um, yeah, that was a cool cutscene. I hope you all enjoyed that. I hope you stuck around to watch it. Uh, Tato, I really hope you saw it. Because, uh, yep, gives you a nice little cameo there. And, uh, yeah, I think that's, yep, that's the only thing we can do. So, that means next episode will be our finale for XCOM Enemy Unknown and I hope y'all stick stay tuned and come to watch that one as it will be the last one we'll be doing for a while uh, so yeah next week next week series finale and then we'll be taking a nice long hiatus before uh, we get into XCOM 2 and uh, yes I will be bringing any survivors will be uh, uh, part of that I will spend some time and create some characters and um, any survivors of this next mission will be uh, transferred pretty much immediately into that one and uh, that should be fun and uh, who knows maybe some uh, of our missing in action comrades will uh, make mysterious appearances throughout but we'll see um, so yeah um, thanks for joining me, and until next week, I will see you all later. Uh, what is my computer doing? I don't know.